Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be upgrading my MacBook Pro with an SSD and also replacing the optical drive with a hard drive and to do that I'm using one of these caddies that I picked up on eBay and it just replaces the optical drive in the MacBook Pro and allows you to attach a 2.5 inch hard drive inside the Mac you can see the optical drive there to the right and immediately above the optical drive is the hard drive so first of all I'm going to remove the hard drive I'm just turning the MacBook Pro around so that the hard drive is nearest to me and I'm just disconnecting the power cord from the battery to the motherboard and now I'm removing the hard drive bracket there are two screws in the bracket and they're attached to the bracket so you can loosen them you don't remove them completely and once the screws have been loosened you can go ahead and lift out the bracket and with the bracket removed now you can lift out the hard drive the ribbon cable is still attached so I'm going to remove that now There are four screws on the hard drive, two either side, and these are Torx T6 screws, and these need to be removed so that they can be attached to the SSD. Again, I've just sped this part up. So that's the screws reattached to the SSD now and I'm reconnecting the drive cable. And now to install the SSD back in the MacBook Pro you just line up the screws on the front with the holes on the rubber pieces in the front of the case and then lower it into position. And then you can replace the hard drive bracket. Just screw it back down into position. And that's it, that's the hard drive replaced with an SSD, so I'm going to move on to the optical drive now. The first thing to do is disconnect the microphone cable from the motherboard, just pull it straight out. Don't pull it up, pull it sideways away from the socket. And then there are two ribbon cables, one for the antenna, and that just lifts straight up off the motherboard. And then there's another one, the ribbon connector for the optical drive. And again, that just lifts straight up from the motherboard. There are two screws on the bracket just above the optical drive. The first one is a crosshead screw in the top left of the machine. And then the other side, there is a Torx T6 screw. And once those two screws are removed, you can lift up the antenna assembly and rotate it away from the optical drive. Then there are three more Torx T6 screws holding the optical drive in place. There's one next to the fan assembly there. There's another one in the top left corner of the case. And there's a third screw there just at the lower left corner of the optical drive. So 
So once those screws are removed, you can remove the optical drive from the MacBook Pro. And there it is. Disconnect the ribbon cable from the optical drive. And that will be attached to the caddy. And you also need to remove this metal piece which is screwed onto the back of the optical drive because that needs to be reattached to the caddy to screw it back into the MacBook Pro. And that's where it fits on the caddy, just in the same place that it was on the optical drive. So that's the metal bracket reattached to the caddy. I'm going to fit the hard drive now. I'm just sliding it into place and then push it forward until it clicks. Then insert this piece of plastic to keep it into position. and then reattach the drive cable to the caddy. Now unfortunately my hard drive was a 12.5mm drive and I didn't realise this at the time but it does not fit in the optical drive bay. The optical drive bay can only accommodate a um, a 7mm or a 9.5mm drive. So what I ended up doing was taking this drive out and replacing it with a 9.5mm drive which as you can see fits fine. I'm just screwing the caddy into position where the optical drive used to be. And I've reattached the microphone cable and the two ribbon cables that I removed earlier and replaced the screws on the bracket. And now I'm just reconnecting the battery to the motherboard. And that's it, that's the upgrade completed now. So I'm just replacing the bottom case on the Mac and I'm going to replace the screws. Now I'm turning the Mac on again for the first time after the upgrade and it's still booting from the internal hard drive at this point. It will recognize that the SSD has been installed but it will tell you that it's not readable by the computer so you have to click on initialize to start the disk utility. 
and then select the SSD in the window to the left and then just click on partition select one partition in the drop down menu and then choose a name for the drive I'm just going to call it SSD then just click on apply and the SSD will be partitioned so now I'm going to go ahead and install Mountain Lion on the new SSD I'm just going to select all disks and then choose the SSD as the installation drive and then click on install and it takes a little while to install well not quite as long as it takes to install it on a regular hard drive one thing to note about this upgrade is that you can only install a hard drive in the optical bay. You can't install an SSD in there. If you try and install an SSD in the optical bay, you won't be able to partition it. It will fail with this error message, wiping volume data to prevent future accidental probing failed. So you have to install the SSD in the main drive bay and a hard drive in the optical bay. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.